<gasps> Warning, this game contains disturbing imagery, sounds, and flashing lights. Volume, please adjust the game's volume until the audio is at a comfortable level. Blah, 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 blah. All I hear coming out of your mouth is blah, 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 blah. Howdy, everybody. My name is Broxter, and welcome to The Floor is Breathing. And so you understand what we found? Question mark? Oh, hi, lady. Four mutilated corpses inside of your home. Me? I like the feel of their breath through the floor board. Is this Edgar Allan Poe? Is that the is that the main enemy of the game? Am I gonna have to face Edgar Allan Poe? January seventeenth, two thousand seven. Welcome home. Ah, you you're just a you're just a sweet darling. Press E to check tasks. Okay. To-do list. What a to-do list. Check for monsters under the bed. Use my hammer to fix the wind. Well, okay. Watch the TV go to sleep. All right. Do I do this in this specific order is the question. Do I have a flashlight? Go up the stairs. Okay. I'll go up the stairs. I don't have a flashlight. I really don't have anything. Okay. So first thing in is to check under the bed. Did it get scratched off? Ah, there are no monsters under the bed. Hey, look a hammer. All right. So it's it's a very left-click based game. Use my hammer to fix the window. All right. First, I have to find the window. Let's find the window together. Us as a collective. You and I. A hundred years of journeying. Is it, This is a door, but... Oh, okay. I guess it could also be considered a win Oh, man. I live in a void. I don't have a street or really anything, but you know what? Let's board it up just in... Oh, hi. Watch TV. Um... Oh, I hate this. And it faded away. Okay, this game is actually kind of scary. Kind of spooky. I kind of don't like it. Oh, TV. Well, that's some TV. Okay, go to sleep. Yes, of course. Go to sleep after these disturbing images are blasted into my brain. Is Miss Scary Ladyface going to be here? I most certainly hope not. It's time to get some shut eye. With no monsters under my bed at all. Bedtime. Oh, yay, more tapes. I love tapes. Tapes, tapes, tapes. More mutilated face. And music! I love music. I'm getting the feeling that this is very much psychological horror. Which I do not like, because my psychology and my brain can only take so much. Did I do it? Did I survive? January 18th, 2007. Welcome home! Ah, uh, this game is just so considerate. So I assume... And this is just me being crazy that I have to do this on repeat. Check if the window is safe. Wait a minute. That's not where I boarded up the window. In fact, it it was moved. Don't worry, I fixed the window. No scary demon? No. Of course not. Check for monsters under my bed. Uh, I don't like this. Chrissy. There's going to be a monster under my bed, isn't there? One of these days, something's going to grab my ankle and I'm going to have to cut it off. Watch the TV go to sleep. Oh, okay. I have a feeling... There's going to be something waiting for me downstairs. That's just me, though. Me and my crazy brain. Me and my imagination just going off on wondrous adventures. Turn on the TV! There you go. And it's just one thing. Okay. So, sub- Oh, 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 oh! Knock, knock, knock! Subject has various gross lesions across the chest and face. By lettery and the congenital the subject has rope burns. And the subject has suffered the loss of three fingers. Hey, you trying to sub- you trying to give me a message? Subject was found hidden under the floorboards with three other individuals. Wait, am- am I Edgar Allan Poe? Mmm, I'm Edgar Allan Poe, aren't I? Alright, time to just walk through the house. I'm supposed to go upstairs, aren't I? Uh, don't make me go upstairs! I have to go to sleep! I can't sleep with all these lights on. I have to sleep. Okay, bedtime. Behold, the Lord came with many thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all and to convict all the ungodly of all their ungodly deeds, which they have done in an ungodly way and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. This man is legally insane, and I am that man. I am Edgar Allan Poe. Sorry, I had to check behind me. Gotta make sure there's nobody sneaking up behind me. Oh! Go to sleep. Well, how, 
How about that, guys? I just have to go to bed. It's probably the medication I've been taking. Hey, there's only three guys now. Hey, the less guys, the better, am I right? It's better that I, you know what? If I had the choice to hang out with somebody who killed three people or somebody that killed four people, I, I think I'd pick the guy who killed three people. Now, I know that sounds bad, but it's just the truth. January 19th, 2007. Welcome home. Welcome home. Uh, I love my house. I have to say, I have a beautiful home. The, the, the wallpaper and the windows and just... Oh, just everything. Repair the door. You got it. Wait a minute. First of all, I was oh, wait, I was about to comment on the fact that the door is open, but now I'm noticing that this thing is uh moving. This thing is moving. Okay. Uh, fixed door. The door has been fixed. Why are you bobbing up and down? I don't like that. Check for monsters under the bed. Oh, uh, don't make me do that. There's going to be a monster under my bed this time. I know it. I can smell it. There's a monster under my bed. Monster under my bed? There's no monster under my bed. Which means it's time for me to go watch... Double checking. Which means it's time for me to go watch some TV. Time to watch some Cartoon Network. Maybe some Adventure Time. Or regular show. Or Teen Titans Go! Well, the TV's watched. Alright, you you just stay there. I have to go to bed. You know, I, I, I really don't want to watch TV anyway. I want to I wanna go upstairs. I want to go upstairs. I don't want to be here anymore. This game is a little spooky and I don't like it. Besides, it's bedtime. Phone? There's a phone ringing. Okay. Apparently, I have to answer the phone for some reason. You know, if it were up to me, I'd leave the phone ringing. Especially concerning the fact that the phone is glowing. But who am I to judge? Did I do something wrong? Because now it's just a black screen. I don't want you, son. No, you don't. Hello? Oh, the TV is floating. Isn't that lovely? Hi, guys. Welcome to the house. Those are eyes, aren't they? Well... I appear to be having just one really, really bad dream. Maybe some sort of acid trip. Listen, I, I really respect all you guys, and I, I'd love to I'd love to stay here and chat, but I really gotta go to bed, so I, I hope you don't mind. Hey, get out of my bed. I'm trying to go to bed, right, so I really carry corpse. Okay, dear Samantha, I'm writing to inform you that you're welcome to our New Year's party. I know you've been very isolated recently, but I think you'll make new friends with the others also pass on my best wishes to your husband i haven't seen him for a few weeks i hope he's doing well i hope he's doing well too wish you the best happy face okay can i go to bed now where am i supposed to take the corpse listen man i didn't sign up for mass murder oh never mind i just have to put it under my floorboard like edgar Allan poe stop making moaning noises <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, buddy! Are you, uh... Tomorrow is another day. Are you gonna help me go to bed? Are you gonna see me some bedtime stories? No. You're gonna disappear. Are you gonna be in my bed? Or are you gonna be under my bed? Alright, it's fine. I, I have to go to bed, so, uh, sleepy time. It's time for me to rest my weary head and go to sleep. Hey! There's only two people left. I'm not looking forward to the eyeless man, because out of all the pictures, he is the most terrifying. So I really don't want to deal with him, but I know I must. <gasps> oh, knock knock. Who's there? It's me. I'm in my bed right now. Please don't- Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Can I get out of the bed? Is there gonna be something underneath my bed? I most certainly hope not. Hide? What do you mean hide? There's nowhere to hide! Can I hide in here? What do you mean, hide? Don't tell me to hide. Listen, it's become abundantly clear to me that I am not in charge of this house. Hey, buddy, am I supposed to... You are no longer safe here. Yeah, I've, 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 I've realized that through various uh, subtle messages that I've been receiving from the, uh, you know, the TVs, the glowing eyes. But there's nowhere for me to hide or interact with. So I assume I have to go and confront my fears. All right. I guess I'm supposed to find a place to uh, hide. Then Alicia prayed, Oh Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, he saw a man with no eyes. I'd like to, I'd like to hide. That door's not there before. Is the scary man, yep, yeah, you're still there. You're still there. You, you, you just stay there. There's some monsters in this house, so I really need you to do your part. I want you to man downstairs, and I'll man upstairs. All right, time to go through the new and creepy door. Open your eyes. 
Well, my eyes are very much open. I couldn't play this game if my... Oh, I am in an SCP. Oh, I'm seeing stuff out of the corner of my eyes. This is very, very trippy. Oh, but this is so cool. Oh, but this is so weird. This feels like an SCP of some sort, but I'm going to keep going. That is a massive house. A house that you would see in Edgar Allan Poe or any of his works. That's what this feels like. Do I go towards? I go towards the house. I assume, I believe. That's a monster. That looks like a beast. I'm just walking. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, see, that, that that's that's a monster. That's Is that Cthulhu? Is that Cthulhu? Am I looking at Cthulhu? Oh, no. Is that Cthulhu? No, it's a playset. Sorry, it looked like a monster from far away. Listen, I, I, I hope you can all understand, but I'm a little bit on edge. Some weird things have been happening in the middle of nowhere. It's up to courage to save his new... Open your eyes. Again, man, my, my eyes are very much open. And I'm now realizing that house is a uh, flat reed. I'm reading. I can't read that. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. To my dear Samantha, how is your husband? Though I suppose you wouldn't know, but I know. I saw what you've done, and I saw how you murdered your son too. You make my blood curl, posting your vile actions online, creating a circus on the death of your own flesh and blood. Deplorable filth. I have all of it recorded, saved, and so do the police. You will not escape your crime, nor your judgment. Enjoy eternal suffering. You know, I would have thought that there wouldn't be any- Oh, Finish what we started. Hammer! Okay, now what do I do? Do I smash the TV? Oh, thank the Lord, I get to smash the TV. Ouch. Owie. Oof. Ouch. Owie. Ow, ow, ow. That sounds like it hurts. What's next? January 20th. 2007, 1 p.m. Recording start. You know, I wouldn't have thought that there would have been computers back in this time, judging by the date of the, uh, you know, the TV. So I don't know why that caught me off guard. Probably because I've been comparing it to Edgar Allan Poe this entire time. And this is a very different setting and place. Is this where I buried the bodies? Well, I have to say this is beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. And that sun is massive. We are not on Earth. The good news is I, I think the worst... Is now behind us. Nothing bad will reach me here in this beautiful, beautiful place. Look at my lovely garden. No evil can be here. Time to start a new life in my little house. Ring doorbell. Ring ding. There, wait, there is no doorbell though. Where's the doorbell? It's just a lock and that and that and a lock. Try again. Oh yeah, you know it, baby. Break down the door. Okay, I didn't expect that. Usually you stop after two doorbell rings because, you know, it's considered rude. But this works too. I'm in the house. I'm in my house. This house is a lot bigger inside than it is outside. Also, the floor is warping. Hey. You're the last one. Oh. Weren't to enter and search premises. Hey, Mark. I don't know how I feel about this one. She should just be a witness. But something about her in this case makes me uncomfortable. Although she's lost her son and her husband, so go easy on her. I still insist you don't go alone, but I'm sure you'll still ignore me anyway. Be careful. Just ask the questions and check the house and get back. See you soon. Okay, so from what I've understood so far from the story, that woman is actually the murderer because she's not, she's not well. Also, if I am now in the eyes of the police officer and I saw stuff like this, I would be tripping balls. Hey. Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry. I, I went to go look at the, 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 the list. My eyes are closed. I can't see a thing. Did I win? Did I did I arrest the twisted lady? Oh, I'm in a chair. You look lovely. You're just a beautiful beautiful lady. All right, so Oh, ow. Stop it. Are you are you, wait, are you are you currently in the process of killing me? Ow. Ouch. What is your problem, lady? Are you just gonna stand there and let this happen? She's killing me, man. And I'm fading to black. The end. Finn. Slut. January 20th, 2007. You can't run forever. What happened to welcome home? Or it's gonna be a good day or whatever it was. I don't remember. Oh, it's the police. Are you the police officer? You are one massive man. Okay. What does my magical to-do list say? They can't take us alive. Oh, then I know exactly what I have to do. Yep. 
Exactly what I thought I had to do. Go to sleep. Oh, this just took- Where's my bed? Actually, what happened to my bed? It's just gone. I'm more concerned about my bed right now. Can, can you guys just turn it- Okay, you know what? I need everybody to just be quiet for a second. Alright? You're stressing me out. Hey, the noise stopped. Ah, uh, it's been so long since I've seen you, Mr. Recording. I missed you so much. And all the faces are back. Not exactly what I wanted to have happen, but we're here. And we move. Am I gonna get any audio? Those pictures are actually getting brighter now that I'm looking at it. It's just getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And it's... Oh! They're real people. And that's... A no, those are actual real people. Okay, I didn't expect that, but... Four murders. And you couldn't even kill yourself. I didn't kill myself? Oh, I just mangled myself. That's why I look like that. You're crowded by physical and digital evidence. The blood on my hands will stain your conscious into the fire. The floor is breathing. A totally fungal game. You know what? I think this is a good ending. The ugly exterior should match the ugly interior. Something that you would again see in an Edgar Allan Poe poem. I really like this game. It was really, really well made. It was really, really creepy. And the lore. Oh, the lore was so good. But yeah, I didn't expect this game to be so good but it was and i loved it if you want to play this game it will be down in the description below as always if you want to watch another video click that that the thing on the left it, it will it will point you to another video if you want to help me out even more click the thing on the right and you'll be subscribed to me i mean no pressure but i'd be very upset oh just live it if you didn't but that's gonna be it for me today thank you so much for watching if indeed you still are my name is brockster and i bid you all Adieu. Special thanks to all my friends and family supporting my hobby, and thank you for playing. Well, thank you.